Welcome to our third in-depth vocabulary snippet on a popular during vocabulary strategy, double entry journals. My name is Debbie. And I am Kim. We will be facilitating this short session with an in-depth look at the use of double entry journals to use during instruction. Once you complete this webinar snippet, you should be able to apply this strategy in your classroom immediately to support students building their vocabulary and concept understanding. Please remember to download the accompanying note tracker attached underneath the webinar. So let's get started. We are constantly seeking feedback from the teachers viewing our series and have heard your requests for continued short strategy sessions that you can use immediately with your classroom instruction. This session is focusing on a during learning vocabulary strategy. This next several minutes will supply you with the knowledge and ideas of how to implement an evidence-based practice within your content area. We just finished discussing before strategies that activate students' prior knowledge and set a purpose for reading. Now we need to use during strategies to help students make connections, monitor their understanding, generate questions, and stay focused. The double entry journal strategy will provide student engagement during your vocabulary instruction. Students who struggle with academic learning tasks typically find writing activities difficult to accomplish. This calls for responsive teaching with evidence-based strategies to support students as readers and writers. Writing to learn activities, which are short, Informal writing tasks help students to tap into prior knowledge and make connections between the old, what they already know, and the new, what they are learning about. WTL tasks are particularly effective to support all students with reading, to help digest complex text and organize thinking about the complex text in order to discuss and write about after the instruction. Structured assignments, such as double entry journals, allow students to process content from multiple, multiple perspectives or at multiple times to aid in comprehension. The double entry journal is a type of academic journal that support content literacy situations. Teachers who use academic journals in their classes daily often encourage their students to use expressive language to write about what they are studying in the same way they encourage students to use talk to explore ideas during discussion. When expressive language is missing in their, from their journal writing, students do not experience the kind of internal talk that allows them to explore and clarify meaning in ways that are personal and crucial to thinking on paper or on the computer. As noted in the slide above, entries reveal problems, questions, connections, and concerns the students pull from his or her reading of the text. Responses and questions going through the student's head while reading are recorded on the right side column. Journal entries need to be judged on the writer's ability to communicate and explore ideas, not on the quality of handwriting or the number of spelling or grammatical errors in the writing. Journal writing underscores informational learning. It relieves the teacher of the burden of correcting spelling and grammatical errors so they can focus on the student's thinking. This focus enhances the student's willingness to use the DEJ because they see this as a tool for their learning and it is viewed as non-threatening. Risk-taking is heightened under these conditions which prompts deeper thinking to flow. These are the steps to explicitly teach double entry journals. First, step one, explain the strategy. As a suggestion, you can use an anchor chart, a whiteboard or PowerPoint slide virtually, and show an example of a double entry journal for students to um, see. In step two, in explicit teaching of this strategy, teachers will need to model their thinking processes as they walk through the steps. Not all students can automatically process and develop an understanding of the steps to create word relationships. 
you are making this work transparent to support all students with the use of this strategy. In step three of explicitly teaching, this emphasizes guided practice. This is peppered with scaffolds for any student who struggles. A support may look like any of the following, use of partners to work on during guided practice, including the use of an anchor chart identifying the steps of the process. Providing the category topics will also set diverse learners up for success with this work. For young students, pictures can also be used in the center of the map with the word to support understanding. Guided practice also requires feedback as students practice to help them implement with fidelity. In step four of the process, as students work toward independence, use criteria that you establish in your planning to evaluate who is ready to work independently and who is showing evidence of mastery learning. This does not count, discount the need for students to continue to reflect on their work. What were their strengths in usage? Their area to continue focusing on? This reflective practice continues to support fidelity usage of the strategy as you continue on with your content instruction. This is also a time to clear up any major confusions with a mini lesson. To support students in maximizing the effectiveness of the tool, provide prompts, initially provide prompts, to support students in thinking about the words, quotes, and passages they entered in the left column. Using the following prompts helps students who are struggling to process and reflectively think and respond to what they wrote. This slide is an example of some sentence frames and sentence starters that you can help students use in their double entry journals. This next example is of a checklist that can be used to support students with their use of double entry journals. This checklist is not about receiving a grade. It is about being able to record dual entries that are conceptually related. It sets students up for success and taking ownership of their own work. This is also a good example of an anchor chart that you can post within your classroom. Students will need to understand how to set up their double entry journal. These steps can also be posted as an anchor chart for students to utilize on their own. Divide the paper in two vertical columns. Second, on the left-hand side, column A, write notes, quotes, key vocabulary, lists, descriptions, and page numbers. In the right-hand column, column B, write your reactions, including how vocabulary words are used, definitions, comments, feelings, objections, um, ideas, or illustrations. Once the students have learned how to set up the template, they will be ready to journal. This slide is an example of two double entry journals. Double entry journals are used for new or unfamiliar vocabulary words while reading in any content area. We see, for example, up above an ELA example of a journal. On the left side, we see a passage and we also see the page number from which the passage was taken. On the right side, we see new vocabulary word that was contained within the passage, students use of the word in a sentence that they developed on their own. A reminder that the sentence use needs to relate to the passage context. For more support with struggling students who need additional practice, work as a small group to create double entry journals rather than having individuals create their own. Give step-by-step -step guidance using an anchor chart. They will understand until they understand the concept. You can continue to allow these students to work with a partner for support. To adapt this lesson for stretch, have the students practice making connections to other texts and or complete further research on the topic. With continued practice using the double entry journal, the student should be able to apply the technique independently. Some other variations for this would be some to use virtual or hybrid settings to have students write information in their notebook. 
Then they can discuss their findings and responses orally with a partner. Also, double entry journals could be used as a form of a study guide if the teacher provides the information or the information is gone over as a class. Students, provide with, students provided with simple questions instead of them coming up with their own so that they can search the text for clarification. This is an ideal time to observe who has skill with doing this task and who needs more support. Or work as a group to create a double entry journal rather than having individuals create their own. So this strategy also ties to writing with the use of graphic organizers and having students write about their thinking as they read. While reading the text, the student can use the graphic organizers to take notes of the information in the text that they want to build a better understanding and expand upon. The graphic organizers allow students to be active participants in their learning as they write the evidence they have identified to support their opinions and to analyze the reading material. This graphic organizer is used for students to demonstrate their knowledge and comprehension of the text. As you begin to create your lesson plans, think about these next step questions for double entry journals. How will you introduce this tool? What types of support might specific students need? What kind of stretch should be included for advanced students? And how can you extend this tool beyond this initial use. The websites and virtual resources have been provided to help you dig deeper into double entry journals. The links can be located on the double entry journal participation guide for you to explore further. This concludes the double entry journal snippet to use during instruction. We hope you found some useful ideas to propel your vocabulary work forward using DEJs. We look forward to seeing you for additional snippets. Our next snippet will focus on another during instruction vocabulary strategy, selective highlighting. We look forward to seeing you then.